What's up everybody, Investing Club here back with another video. In this video, I will show you three stocks that I am currently looking to buy and keeping my eye on for the next time that the prices on these stocks drop. And I can guarantee you that these three stocks are stocks that you have not seen anywhere else on YouTube. So keep watching if you want to learn more about them. And now before I show you the stocks, I am not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. So do your own research before buying any stocks. Now, before we get started, smash a thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm. It really helps out my channel, allows more people to find my videos. All right, and now let's get into the three stocks. So the first stock we have in this video is Advanced Emission Solutions, ticker symbol ADES. And what this company does, they provide emission reduction technologies in the United States. And their main business is cleaning out coal power plants. They offer a coal treatment process to enhance combustion, which also helps reduce emissions from coal plants. Now I have the chart pulled up and on the screen right now, and the orange line represents the earnings of this company. And this company has a pretty interesting history. It has been around for a while, but for the first 10 to 15 years of this company's life, they weren't profitable. Ever since 2015, the earnings of this company have started to grow dramatically and their earnings are expected to increase even with the shutdown we're having. So this is a very interesting company to look at. If we take a look at Finviz, their price to free cash flow ratio is currently only a three, which is very cheap. Um, you know, as I've said in the past, when I'm buying a company, is I like to see that their price to free cash flow is under 10 and this definitely fits that. Their peg ratio is 0.07. Um, again, this company is expected to grow earnings at 50% a year, which is insanely fast. They pay a 14% dividend, which from what I've seen, it will not be cut. You know, the, the amount of earnings they're bringing in supports the dividend. As you can see, the payout ratio is only 50% and their earnings are expected to increase. So this dividend is relatively safe and probably won't be cut. And again, they have they have modest levels of debt. And this just looks like a all around solid company that started to become profitable a few years ago and is now growing earnings like crazy. Now we can take a look at the rule on website and you know the, the history of this company is pr is pretty outstanding. All the growth numbers point to very rapid growth in their book value, earnings per share, operating cash sale and sales growth. Now in terms of actually valuing the stock, we can come to the rule one intrinsic value calculator website says that their earnings are expected to grow at 16 percent. so i'll keep that there to be conservative and for a conservative pe ratio we can put a pe of 10. this has been their average pe ratio over the last few years and we see that this website estimates that the value of this company is around 21 dollars, and this is currently a stock that is trading under seven dollars so this stock has the potential to 3x in value in the coming years. Now, a big risk of this company is that their main business is servicing coal plants. However, this company, along with the coal industry, this company has also been expanding their revenue sources, providing services for cleaning water, for water treatment services, among other things. So I think this company has revenue streams that are well diversified enough that will allow them to keep growing earnings even if their revenues from coal treatment start to decline. And so the second stock in this video is Evercore, ticker symbol EVR. And Evercore is an investment bank that does business in the United States, Europe, and Latin America. And so this company is a typical investment bank. They help perform mergers, acquisitions, leverage buyouts, restructuring, and corporate finance for other companies. And if we take a look at the longer term chart, this company is at the same price as it was in early 2014. So I think this company still has a lot of upside. Looking at their price of free cash flow, it's around a five, which it looks very attractive. And again, modest levels of debt. And this is a company that earns high returns, return on assets, return on equity and return on investments all in the double digits. It gives me confidence that this company will continue to grow into the future. And the current dividend yield is 4.61%. And again, it, again, their payout ratio is very low. Their payout ratio is only 24%. So this dividend is likely not going to be cut, even if their earnings see a drop in the next year or two. And going to the rule on website, this company has a virtually perfect growth history of growth. You can see all the way going back 10 years, the growth rates of this company have been in the double digits pretty much consistently. So this is a very high quality company with a strong history. And I think that has a lot to do with the management team of this company who really has a good idea of how to lead this company. Now coming to the intrinsic value calculator, we can use a conservative PE ratio of 15. And we see that the estimated value of this company is around $96. And the price is currently 
$52. So this stock is almost half off, um, which looks very attractive to me. And if this stock continued to fall any further, and if the stock price fell any further, I'd be looking to pick up some shares. All right. And so the last stock on this video is Navient Corporation, ticker NAVI. And what Navient does is they service college loans. So this is one of the biggest grantors of college loans in the United States. And so for that reason, I think this company has even though they've only been around for around five years, I think this company has a very strong moat in that every year more and more people are going to college and every year the tuition prices for these colleges increase. And as more people start needing loans to go to college, uh, this company will do well. Now, there has been a lot of talk from politicians lately about canceling student debt and wiping out these student loans. But honestly, I don't really see that happening. Uh, there's way too much money in this space that a law to eliminate student debt would go through, in my opinion. But I guess if that were to happen, then that would be a big blow to this company. So that's something to keep in mind. Again, this company looks extremely undervalued, a price to free cash flow of only one, a peg ratio of 0.4. And so, you know, what I want you to notice is this company is at the lowest price it's pretty much ever been. Um, when this company first became public, it was trading at around $15, and right now it is under $8. And this is a stock I would get into mainly for the dividend. The dividend is currently around 8.5%, and their payout ratio is only 30%. And so this dividend looks pretty safe to me. Um, I don't think it's going to be cut because their payout ratio is so low. So even if their earnings take a hit in the short term, they should still be able to keep paying their dividend. And to estimate the intrinsic value for this company, we can put a modest 10 PE ratio for the future PE. And the estimated value of this company is at around 968. And this price is currently 754. So this company may not be as undervalued as the other two I showed you. Um, it is still in around that fair value range. Um, but if I did get into this company, it would mainly be for the dividend, which I think is still safe and I think will continue to grow as this company grows their earnings. Um, again, this company has a very strong moat in my opinion, and that will allow them to continue growing the dividend. So those are the three stocks for this video, guys. Uh, let me know what you think about them. Let me know in the comments if you will be looking into any of them more. And let me know if you are not buying any of these stocks, let me know what your favorite stock currently are in the stock market. Again, I'm trying to make these videos to open your eyes to different possibilities compared to the same 10 stocks that you see in every YouTube video. Um, so if you appreciate that, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you on the next video.